Hey, Wilson, come over here, man. Check this out. You got to see this right here. What you got, man? This looks so good, man. Hey, okay. Tell me, tell me what you think, man. Do you notice anything different about me? Uh, I see you got something in your ears. Dude, I got earrings. Did you know I wore earrings? No. Well, I still don't. These are earbuds. Did you even... Dude, do they look like earbuds? They don't. They just look like accessories or like something. Like something. Yeah, something <laughs> like accessories, ears, yeah. right? <laughs> Anyhow, these are the new Soundcore C40Is. These are open ear earbuds. And I know you're used to the regular style, Wilson. You know, the hook joints. Oh, yeah. Those, those are cool. They just came out with some, uh, what are they? The Arrow Fit too. Y'all should, I'm, y'all. I'm gonna address you guys because you're already here, even though you brought them in here, Wilson, and you didn't even tell me you was bringing people. You always do this mess to me, man. You show up here with your gang, like the Verizon crew. It's like, <laughs> yeah, we're here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome to New Stuff TV. Welcome to my house. This is the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Check out my new open ear earbuds that aren't really earbuds they're more like a clip-on accessory that also has bluetooth sound which is great for lifestyle activities richardson dude how did i do with that was that clutch you could have gone longer you think so <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> <laughs> quit being nasty come over here man let me tell you about these earbuds so soundcore sent these joints over here for me to talk to you guys about them and tell you everything i know which is just simply their Cool, I, I like them. I've been using them for a couple of days and I actually really do like them. As far as like music and stuff, you know what, we'll get into that in just a moment. Let me just cover some things, okay? Because these are things that the average user might want to know before actually pulling the trigger on a purchase. If this is something you're looking at buying. First of all, what would you like to know about earbuds? Like when you first buy them, let me uh, guess. Usually the IP rating. IP, is that more important than battery life? I mean, I sweat a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you got sweating. me carrying this camera all the time. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. IPX4. You okay with that? Uh, it's, so it's okay. You can get a little droppage on there. It's pretty good. Man. I mean, dude, how bad do you sweat? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> IPX4. You're good. A little, little bit of, wait, what's the X4? Is that water or dust? So that's a uh, no dust testing, but. Four on the water. Four on the water. All right. Are you good with that though? You clip this on your ear? It's not bad. I mean, for it not being like in your ear. All right, good. fine. IPX4, guys. That's what you get. Maybe okay. I can just watch out for the rain or something. Yeah, I think it's enough for daily activity with, you know, like if you if it's raining, don't be just walking out with no no hoodie on or, you know, the poncho. You got a poncho, Wilson? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, do you have one? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a poncho, use it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, battery life. That's always important to me, right? Definitely. Because, you know, what good is it if you can only use them for a few minutes or even an hour? So these have uh, seven, up to seven hours on a single charge. But if you actually connect them to the case, where's the freaking case? What did I do with it? It's around here somewhere. Oh, it's in my pocket. Okay. <laughs> so the case, if you actually use this case right here, you can get up to a whopping 21 hours of battery life. I think that's pretty good. Seven hours on a single charge. That's like, if you just casually listen all day, that's like a whole day. Pretty much. Work, right. And especially if it's like on and off too. Yeah. And then you just put them back in the case, get a nice little quick charge and get up to 20, 21 hours. That's pretty cool. And I, speaking of the case, check it out, Wilson. This is actually a pretty small case. It's got a little thickness to it. Got a little girth, but it is a relatively small case. You open it up. Let me just put that in here. Then you put the bud in there just like this. You see the little pins right there? Yeah. Put the pins in there, connect them. Boom, little mag. Wait, did I do this? I'm not doing this right. Oh, I got the wrong earbud on the wrong ear. There it goes, right there. So let me put these in the right way. So this is the right one. That's the left one. And then when you put them on, you just pull them out and there's a button on here. These are not like capacitive touch buttons or a touchpad, there's a button on the back side of it. And you just kind of hook that around the back side of your little earlobe cartilage right there. And then you are all set to go. Oh man, but I wasn't finished telling you about the techie stuff. 12 by 17 millimeter drivers. Bruh, I don't know. <laughs> like when it comes to drivers and earbuds, as far as size, I usually see about like 10 millimeters, maybe 11 or 12, but it's usually circular. I've never seen like a, uh, like a racetrack shape. But I guess that's, that's that's what's in here. All that means to me is it's supposed to sound good. And as far as music clarity, uh, the music does sound really good, but I would not expect a ton of bass out of these things. In fact, like when you uh, are listening to them, 
and you crank up the bass or if you turn it up really loud with the bass, I think that's where these things might underperform. But if you're just casually listening to music and you got your stuff at a reasonable level, you're gonna really enjoy the sound that you get out of these. But that's enough about the racetrack. Uh, I almost said racetrack subwoofer. <laughs> it's not a subwoofer, bro. Imagine. <laughs> you know. Okay, now this is important because this is kind of a one size fits all type of thing. Come on over here, Wilson. I'm tired of standing up. Uh, this is not a one size fits all. Well, it's kind of a one size fits all type of earbud, but at the same time, we understand everybody has different ears. Now, I've always talked about you cats with them big floppity ears, okay, with the, you know, that don't fit inside of ear cups. Some people have thick ears. Some people have thin ears. So in the case, well, not in the case, but in the box, they actually give you these little things right here. I don't know if you saw these, Wilson, but it is basically like a, like a plastic thing. You get large and a medium, and I'm guessing this, uh, there is no small, but you get a large and a medium. And what this does is, let me see if I can do this in real time. Let's take this off my ear, okay? Can you see that, Wilson? Yep. Or are you gonna put this on the back side of the earbud, right? And then you just clip it on. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it the wrong way. You clip it on right there, and it just kind of thickens the pad up a little bit. Oh, I'm playing music now. I hit the button. So you, it just kind of thickens up the padding, and then it fits a little bit more snug on your ear. And I think I just put in the large, so this might be even kind of tight for me. Well, no, it's not tight, like uncomfortable, but it is definitely on there because if you don't put them on and your ears are thin, they might slide up and down a little bit and you might run the risk of losing one because these do not have a ton of clamping force. They're just supposed to kind of rest on the outside edges of your cartilage right there. This feels like a nice secure fit, especially when you try to pull it off, you notice it kind of just says, no, not right now. <laughs> and then you put it back on. Anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Now let's get into some other stuff. I did tell you it had a, a button, a physical button on the back, which is nice because I like the way you get to use that button. I'll show you in the app in just a moment how you can customize that button, but I like it because with a lot of touch capacitive things, you, you know, you might bump your ear on something or touch it by accident or maybe mistouch. But if you just grab your ear, boom, and you just click that button, like anybody can do this. I just turned it off. <laughs> I'm listening to that Usher, man. Do you like Usher? Usher's good. Dude, my wife told me that her best friend went to an Usher concert uh, somewhere. And I was like, did her husband go? Cause you heard about Usher, right? <laughs> you can't take your woman to his concerts. <laughs> I was like, did, did her husband go? She was like, no, she went with her auntie. I was like, oh man, she actually made it back home. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Usher be stealing people's girls, man. I would never take my wife to an Usher concert. Anyway, what was I at? What was I? Oh, I was telling you about the touch button. So you touch this button right here. You just grab your ear like that. Like, Seriously, how easy is that? Just to, that's cool. Let me stop it. Now I get to show you how to customize it. So let me get up into my app real quick. Share my screen with you guys. Let y'all up in my personal business on my phone here. So we're gonna start recording some stuff. Let me get into this Soundcore app because you know Soundcore always delivers the goodies. You see right there, I got a bunch of stuff. You see right there, I got the C40i, it is connecting. I got the Aerofit 2s and the Select 4 Go. Hey, stick around, man. We're actually doing a video on two uh, Soundcore Select 4, Select 4 Go's versus two JBL uh, Go 4s uh, in tandem or whatever, just to see which one sounds better. So check that video out when you get done with this one. But let's go into this C40i right here. You got the picture of the earbuds right there. You got your percentage per ear or per earbud. Then you got your case battery right there. Typical Soundcore fashion, you got your sound effects. Let's get up in there and see what they give you. They give you your Soundcore signature, your bass, volume booster, 3D surround sound, and custom. Oh, so you got a one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight band EQ again. That's impressive. That's impressive. I'm just like open buds. On some open buds, man. That's a lot of EQing, man. I don't be EQing like that on my open ears. So I usually go with Soundcore signature on a lot of Soundcore devices because Soundcore knows how they want their stuff to sound, right? But at least they give you the opportunity here to tweak it. And then you get into the controls. This is why we came here in the first place. On the left earbud, I have mine set to play and pause. You can actually change that to volume up or down, next track, previous track, voice assistant, or nothing. Okay. And then it actually mirrors on the right side. So the right side, you can have the same stuff. But in my case, on my left, I got double press uh, for the next track. And then on the right bud, I got previous track. 
I think I need to reverse that. Let me do that now. So let's go next on the right. And then I'm glad y'all are seeing this in real time. Then we'll go back to the left and we'll go previous. Yeah, we'll do that. And then you press and hold for volume down. And then on the right earbud, you should be pressing hold for volume up. Yeah. And then, of course, phone calls. You can answer and end phone calls, and this is not customizable. Let's talk about these phone calls. I've taken a few phone calls on them, and it's kind of hit or miss, man. Like, sometimes the phone calls are really good, and sometimes they're just all right. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of a hit or miss kind of thing. But all in all, I still enjoy wearing the earbuds when I'm doing stuff because I'm a busy guy. I got this gigantic dog over here. It's always need to be walked or played with or something. And then my wife be bugging me to do stuff around the house. So I need to just, you know, throw on some music, you know, just have it with me to keep myself sane. Maybe listen to a podcast or something like that. Some Usher. Some Usher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like Usher's good. Usher's good when you want to listen to it with your lady to get her in the mood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But don't be taking your girl to an Usher concert. Well, you could take her if you want to, just sit like a few rows back and damn sure don't let her go by herself or with her auntie, you know what I'm saying? Bring the poncho. She ain't, and bring, <laughs> bring the poncho. <laughs> bring the poncho. <laughs> oh man, oh God, dude, I don't know. Are we gonna get canceled? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to get me canceled, Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, come on with me. So we got this case. Case is very pocketable. I do like it. I'll put it in my right hand pocket. And then, you know, we just walk around the house doing stuff. But I'm gonna go run some errands while I'm jamming my C40 eyes. And y'all can stay here and I'll see y'all when I get, oh, I gotta go get my poncho, man. I almost forgot that thing. Look, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>